Hey guys, what's up? This is Lasercorn from Mahalo Video Games, and we are casting game three in this series of Kapoch against Red Archon. And the series stands at one and one. So whoever loses this game will be knocked out of the tournament and will not have a chance at that $25,000 prize. We've got Kapoch up here, our Protoss player in green and Red Archon down here, our Terran player in red. And Red Archon won, a, won the first game of this series with some great bio play while Kapoch won the second game with a Colossus and an Immortal that ran up in Red Archon's base on Scrap Station and just did vicious, vicious destruction everywhere. Rain down death. Kapoch throwing up a gateway here. Red Archon getting his barracks going. Scout coming out here for Kapoch. Going to peek around Red Archon's base, see what's going on. Not much is going on. No wall off going on. And I imagine Red Archon's going to try and get a quick Marine to deal with this scout. Or maybe he'll just deal with it with a SCV. Nope. Probe's going to run away. And he is making that Marine. Meanwhile, at the other end of the map, this Red Archon SCV going to get some scouting information as well. Cybercore coming down. He's got a gas up. He sees that. And this probe has run away into the corner here and is hiding. And that, that Marine has lost him. Excellent hide here. Yeah, a lot of players will hide actually on the other side of these hedges. But by hiding down here in this little corner, uh, Kapoch has thrown Red Archon's Marine off the trail. And Red Archon's Marine freaking out now because he knows, he knows that drone is somewhere. Or that probe is somewhere in the base. But he doesn't know where. Good play by Kapoch. Those little nuances are really what separate the good players from the great players. And speaking of nuances, we got a factory coming down over here uh, for Red Archon. A proxy factory. Don't see that every day. And it's going to get spotted by this probe. Uh, so whatever he was planning is going to be ruined, ruined by this probe nonchalantly passing through. And I have to imagine that a stalker, yeah, a stalker, something's going to come out here and <laughs> it's too far away to shoot at right now. Who throws down a proxy factory? What kind of ridiculous play is that? I like it, though. I'm interested to see where this is going. That probe's still hanging out. It's shaping up to be a very interesting game. We've got a probe in Red Archon's base, and Red Archon lifting off this factory. Floating it. Man, what, he knows that Kapoch has seen this. Why? What are you doing, Red Archon? I... Straining a Hellion? One Hellion is going to come out of this factory. And... <laughs> Oh, I see. He was trying to sneak in some marines and or uh, some marauders and a marine, while this factory uh, distracted him. He's using the factory as a distraction. Oh, that is a good play then. And these marines and this marine and these marauders are gonna take down a pylon, and that hellion is gonna finish. Interesting. And that hell you're gonna be taken out immediately though. So it looks like it looks like Red Archon's gonna get a pylon out of the deal and not much else. 
this roving factory. And here we go. Pylon coming down for Kapoch. That's what that drone was just waiting to throw down. Will this SCV see it? Oh, it doesn't really matter, I guess, because units are coming in now for Kapoch, and Red Archon's going to see these guys for sure. And that is not enough units to take on Red Archon's force here at the home base. Red Archon's going to clean this up, I imagine, fairly easily. Knock out this pylon. But, <laughs> meanwhile, Kapoch chasing down this factory. Will the factory go down? It's in the red. Down past 200. This factory might just go down. It's now burning. And it's not quite... Oh, it thought it was safe, but it really wasn't. And it's going to pay the price for that. Kapoch now knocking at this back door, trying to blast these rocks down. Red Archon going to come in here and say, go away. Or maybe not. Oh, come on. Get over there, Red Archon. He can't spot you on the high ground. He's got nothing. He doesn't have an observer out. Oh, no. Why are you going to let him bust these rocks down? Maybe he just wants to fight him at the barracks? I don't even understand this play. It seems like he could have walked over here with his Marauders and started shooting at at least the Zealots. Hmm. Alright, here comes Kapoch now. He's going after this factory, or er, this uh, supply depot. Stim, Stim now for uh, Red Archon. But it looks like Stim going to be wasted. Good force fields. Splitting off a couple of those Marines, keeping everyone else back. A couple of Marines go down there. And let's see, we've got 60 for Kapoch in terms of supply against 62 for Red Archon. And he's got that bunker there. So I'm going to go ahead and say this force isn't going to make it up past these hedges. It can be very annoying, though. And he could really take out this supply depot before it even gets up. Except I don't think he can see up that ramp yet. We've got a expansion going down over here for Kapoch. He's also got a proxy pylon over there, over in this area here. And this zealot guarding this proxy pylon is going to have to take on two marines. But he's getting backup now from this stalker. And those marines had better get out of there as quick as that drug-induced haze can carry them. And, whoa, I don't know what went down over there. It looks like a marauder. And these mar these marauders and this marine cleaning up a little bit. And here comes Kapoch. Going to try and break down this back door. Good force field there to keep some of the units at bay. And Guardian Shield going up. Oh, a secondary force from Red Archon comes around the other side. But it's not very big. And wow, Red Archon's force is really just getting split up all over the place. And he really needs to group up. Those Terran forces are best when balled up together. And you got to ball up, stim, and then go at your opponent can't get separated by force fields or looping around tactics. And wow, he suffered uh, some serious casualties there. He's still got that bunker there though, which which will provide some good defense. Scans a observer and the observer goes down. And what is this? This orbital command is looking for a place to land. I wonder if he knows about that pylon back there. And it looks like Kapoches. Oh no! Oh, one dropship going down. A second medevac really in the red. It sucks to lose those medevacs. Good force fields going down to delay Red Archon's forces. But the concussive shell is slowing down Kapoches' units. And he is going to get a bunch of them on this death march back to his base. Wow, a lot of units going down there for Kapoch. Excellent play by Red Archon. And the tides are turning. Although Kapoch has had this expansion up for a while. So he should, you would think his economy would be way ahead of Red Archon's. Oh no, and there's a Colossus on the field. 
Red Archon does not want to engage this Colossus with the forces he has. They will get murdered. Well, if he stims up and runs those Marauders in close, he could focus fire down this Colossus first. But man, I really if, if that Colossus gets microed at all, he's going to be in serious trouble. Uh, he needs Vikings to deal with this, really. I don't... I don't know of anything else that can really... Any other way is really going to be able to deal with a Colossus like this. He would need a ton of Marauders. And he's trying to break down the back door. He says, I won't even go over there and fight you. And Kapoch sees it coming. He's going to try and get around this way. Wow, his... His Colossus was split off from his army there for a second. And that would have been a great time for Red Archon to go after the army. But he's busy breaking down these back rocks. And Kapoch is there. He sees his rocks are down. A secondary force from Red Archon going to run in and do some economic damage. Blasting these probes. But they're going to get surrounded and cut off. And I don't know if it's going to be worth it. A lot of probes going down though. Wow, a lot of economic damage being done. And look at this. It looks like Kapoch takes the more aggressive stance, attacks Red Archon coming down this ramp. A force field going down, trying to cut off the retreat. Wow, good play by Kapoch. First surrounding that harassment force and then driving off the main army of Red Archon, forcing a retreat back to base. Neither player wants to leave this tournament. And there are the Vikings, the hard counter for the Colossus. Colossus is so tall that he can be shot by these anti-air units. And it is anyone's game here. Let's see what the supplies at. 80 for Kapoch. And good golly gracious, 109, 111 for Red Archon. So Red Archon must have done some serious economic damage because he has just pulled ahead in army count. And wow, he should really take his whole army. Yeah, there we go. And right now, I'm giving it to Red Archon. But you never know. Some good micro. Wow, the <laughs> two forces kind of circling each other here. Might pass each other completely. I would love to see a base race <laughs> at this point. And there we go. Oh, no, no base race. Two armies. Red Archon stimming up but getting cut off by those force fields. The Vikings targeting down that Colossus. That is a lot of Vikings, though. Almost overproduced on the Vikings. And, wow, point defense drones defending these units. He And Kaboch knows he has to retreat, get away from those point defense drones. Otherwise, none of his attacks will land. And that is what he is doing right now, backing up. But he lost a lot of units, and his expansion is wide open. Oh, no. And look at this, a bunker going up right next to the expansion. Here comes Red Archon. Kapoch ignoring this attack and going for Red Archon's base. A bad move because Red Archon's got a bigger army and he's going to be able to take out Kapoch's base way faster than uh, than Red Archon. Or Kapoch won't be able to take out the base fast enough is what I was trying to say. And this isn't even a big enough force to take out a base. Oh, Kapoch is in serious, serious trouble right now. And he is going to get these few Marauders that are split off from the main force. But that's going to be a moral victory. Because as soon as this army shows up, Kapoch is done for. And more Marauders here at the front of the base. He's going to get trapped between these two armies. It's a pincer attack from Red Archon. And all these Stalkers are going to go down as they suicide their way into this base. And this is a massive army from Red Archon. Maybe that suicide attack, though, served its purpose and bought up Kapoch enough time to re-macro up. Uh, he's got a couple Colossus, but... That's just not enough. He's just going to get steamrolled by this much larger force. He does get the bunker down, though. Thank goodness for Swamp's favorites. Here come these Vikings. They're going to target the Colossus. No, the Colossus are going to get away. That's a lot of Vikings. They're going to... Wow. Look at how fast that Colossus shield just dropped. And one Colossus almost dead. Meanwhile, here comes all these Marines and Marauders for Red Archon. Streaming into the base of Kapoch. And I think we're going to see a GG here very shortly. Kapoch cannot stand up to this kind of onslaught. Here they come, stimming up, going at these robotics facilities. And the Colossus doing everything they can. A valiant last stand from Kapoch. But in the end, a GG. Wow, great game.
And so there you have it. Uh, Red Archon will be advancing into the next round of the loser's bracket, and Kapoch is going to be <laughs> left to enjoy the rest of BlizzCon in a non-competitive fashion. Great game between these two. Hey guys, thanks for watching. This is Dave with Mahalo Video Games once again. If you guys have any requests for replays you want casted or questions or comments, go ahead and send those over to requests at mahalo.com. All right, thanks again.